What's up guys, welcome back, uh, Business Jando here, yeah. So I'm trying not to be unemployed, I had an interview today, but, 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 today we are talking about something really cool that I've been working on, and we are talking about form sealed, vacuum sealed composites made of 3D printed materials. Yes, I know, absolute insanity. Uh, this, is, this is all being made off of these cheap vacuum sealers that are used in dentist's office on Invisalign. Now, the idea behind what I'm trying to do, uh, and this is nothing new, so this is the same material that they're using in Invisalign, but, 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 what I'm doing that is slightly different is I'm adding a composite layer which is a mesh that is sent from the 3d printer to make the material itself stronger the idea is to use this on one of the drones or one of the things as a guard that not only does it have the sturdy plastic as a holder that can be almost disposable but also has extra properties with the composites that are being embedded into them um, but yeah let me let me show you this one is completely 3d printed even the bottom piece you can see some of the layer lines when the, when the vacuum form is going but I'll show you let me show you quick how it works even even this one this one was made around the grip mold that I showed from yesterday. But it's for closing in parts and making making precise designs that go around those parts. Let me, let me show you real quick. <laughs> Business up top, party down low. But, but let, me, let me show you how this thing works. So this is actually an entire heating element that is inside this. So this part heats up right here. And this is a vacuum pump on the bottom that allows you to heat up a plastic and then suck it down and then harden it to whatever, whatever thing that you're trying to make. And that's how these molds fit in the form. So you add the piece that you would like to form against, or, or the item that you want to make a clone of almost. I'll put this one in. You put it in the actual form itself, and then once you have this in place, then you're able to set up with another piece of plastic, and these come in all different shapes and forms. So finding the right thickness, the right, the right width, and all the other pieces is going to be part of the challenge in here. But you raise up the platform a little bit, uh, heat the plastic up, so you take your plastic sheet and you heat it up and then vacuum mold it over the item that you are trying to print. Now vacuum molding is a crazy technique that is so useful in so many different places. And the idea with this is the drones, they break a lot. And if I try 3D printing pieces that are going to go on the, the, the mounts and on the other parts for, for holding pieces, they're going to get broken, destroyed, and they're not going to work and function as well, and I'll have to keep reprinting them. But if I make it this way, I'll be able to make one part, and then I'll be able to just keep re-vacuum forming over it. Let me, let me show you guys. I'm going to turn this thing on, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vacuum form this piece and show you guys. Okay, so the heating element is on. You wait for a good droop so the plastic is like drooping under and then once you have it drooped under then you turn the vacuum pump on like this and i'm gonna pull the thing off so you got a good droop going yep pretty good and then turn the vacuum pump on and just like that we have a sealed part yeah look at that and then just like that you have a fully molded and vacuum sealed piece yeah, absolutely, absolutely crazy. That is in there. Now, the cool, the cool thing with this is it's not necessarily these parts that I want, but it's the idea that not only can you do this, this one plastic that they sell like this, you can 3D print a little tile or a little square that can be used to do the exact same thing. And then using the properties of like infill and other patterns, a different material, this is a TPU, so it's stretchy, you can set composites that I, I don't even know what I can do with this yet, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, that's, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're definitely gonna be revisiting this at some point because I wanna do the thing for the drones and the other parts, but that's about it for today. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Also, update, almost forgot, on the Chess AI, you have to see this. If you figure out what this logo is, you can figure out who I was applying to. But, 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 but we have the whole thing set up now with different hooks, and we can fully control the electromagnet. This is the cleaning sequence, and it, it's just kind of satisfying to watch at the same time. But we have a full cleaning sequence, and I might even try to do, uh, like, one of those, I don't know if you have seen those, like, sand tables where they have, like, like it's a magnet and a ball that draws sand, just because I have the magnet sheet. But we're mapping in, so now we can set the chessboard and set all the other pieces. I was even playing with, uh, let me grab the magnets. I was even playing with magnets on the same side of this where you can use the magnets and they can actually already be tracked and pulled. So, ah, yeah, and then all this other stuff too. I'm working on a, on a part for the uh, the induction probe. This is actually a little piece that gets added to the induction probe to make it stronger so it can detect the pieces. But 
that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. As always, uh, we are going strong. Uh, what is this? Day nine? Day nine. We're going strong. This thing's coming out really well, and I am super hyped. So, thank you guys. Bye, guys.